I love Linda Carter. She's a big fan of this show. 40 years since her debut as Wonder Woman, Supergirl now takes off tonight right here on CBS. Melissa Benoist is giving women a voice in the superhero world once again. She plays the DC Comics character. Kara Zorel, Superman's cousin, and after 12 years of hiding her true identity, she decides to embrace her superhuman powers and leap into the spotlight. This one has I'm her. The woman who saved the plane. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Cara, what are you doing? Hey, Cara, hey, get, get away from the ledge. You're gonna get hurt. Cara! Hey! You're, you're her. Melissa Benoist, welcome to the table and welcome to the CBS family. Thank you. I've always wanted to be able to do that. <laughs> to fly. <laughs> to jump I off have. a building and fly. I have and actually... keep your glasses on at the same time. <laughs> skill. This is so great to have a superhero, a female superhero, back in primetime TV. Tell us about Kara. She is, she's, it's Kara. Kara, sorry. And Kara. she knows she's from, she was born on Krypton, same as Kal el Superman. Ooh. And when the planet, she was about 12 years old when the planet blew up and she was sent to Earth but kind of got stuck in space. So she makes it to Earth a little later than he does and has been holding her powers secret for about 12 years and decides in our pilot to uh, reveal herself to the world and start being the hero she's, she's feisty, meant to be. She's though. I mean, like, she's I, a sassy like, pants. Like when they debate, should we be Superwoman or Supergirl? Right. That exchange, I mean, it... It makes sense why you say you felt so special because it was a female-driven superhero. So right. we have really not seen that much of. No, no, mm -hmm. especially one a story that's completely centered around her. What powers does she have? She has all the same powers as Superman. She can fly. She has heat vision. She has um, freeze breath. Freeze breath. Oh, wow. Super strength. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How does one train for these stunts that are that are in this show? I did I did quite a bit of training. We did this stuff called plyometrics, which is like jump training, and all of it was really hard, just hard things, <laughs> and a lot of core work because uh, to do the flying stunts, you know, I'm up in a wire and you have to hold your entire body weight, so. There's a lot of training involved. And, and does she acknowledge her Superman in the film, in the series? He's definitely a presence. Yeah. We, 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 you don't see his face, but he's, I mean, he's a family member. He's a, her cousin. So he's not, mm -hmm. but it's her story. That's mm -hmm. what's important. And why didn't she want to acknowledge who she was for all those years, those 12 years? I think just because it's such an innate, she is a hero at heart. And she has these incredible abilities and wants mm -hmm. to use them for good. So this show has been getting a lot of publicity right. um, because you're terrific at Maybe. CBS, but also because Jeb Bush recently talked about it. Let me just play this clip. I saw that there's a, a Supergirl is on, is on TV. I saw it on the, when I was working out this morning. There's an ad promoting Supergirl. She looked kind of, she looked pretty hot. I don't know what channel it's on, but I'm looking forward to that. Well, Governor Bush, it's on CBS tonight premiering. What did you think about that, a presidential candidate uh, calling I, you hot? I definitely, I heard about it, but yeah. you know, I don't, I don't know what I think about. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm glad he's excited to watch the show. Yes. And who do you hope is the audience for this show? I mean, who do you think will turn out and watch it? I hope, I, I mean, I think that everyone will be able to take something from it, but I really would love to reach young girls mm -hmm. and to, to be a, a good a role model for them. Mm -hmm. It seems like any time you take a character that you read about and you bring them to life, mm -hmm. people have like polarizing responses like they love the character they hate the character did you feel some pressure playing this person that other people have read oh, about oh yeah of course because she's been around for such a long time and her mythology is so already fleshed out and there's <laughs> all these different iterations of her but i i definitely took that just as my cue to really make her my own in the 2015 is, version is it your sense that the people are really uh, highly anticipatory of having a superwoman hero that, yeah, that idea is something that there is a longing for. I think that people are ready. I think it's about time. 
who's showing the scene where it looks like she's trying on the, the different costumes and, and you, you made a decision to reject sort of a tighter, mm -hmm. smaller costume. Why? We, we thought that moment was um, the one kind of chance for, you know, we knew that there were some people that kind of would maybe want the character to go in that direction. Mm -hmm. and, and Like sexy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but or hot. That's not, oh, yeah. yeah, and that's right. not her, and that's not what is important about her. And, you know, that was the kind of a little tease, just to be like, okay, we know this is what you want, and this is the one time you're going to see it, and now right. No right. she's attractive, but her main selling point is her strength and her power. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Her actions, her positivity, and bravery. And, and how is she like Clark Kent? Does she like him? No, how is she, how is she how like him? How is she like him? him? At the yeah. office, I, they're very similar. She's yeah. um, very much a wallflower and... Right. Um, and has the glasses. <laughs> yeah, the glasses. <laughs> and the glasses. And a good slouch. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, we are right. so excited for you, Melissa Benoist. So you. great to meet you. And you can catch the series premiere of Supergirl tonight at special time. That's 8.30, 7.30 right here on CBS. Me and my girls and my son, we're all going to be watching. You're watching CBS this morning. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs>